Hey guys, I am Nikita Austin. I'm the Director of Education and Innovation Specialist for The Better Being Company. And we own many brands like Solaray, Cal, Lifeflow, Heritage. And I'm here at Fruitfully Yield to teach you guys about some of my favorite products. Hello everyone, Jessica Early here with Fruitfully Yield. Lovely to see you all again. And we are here with Nikita with Better Being. And we're talking magnesium today. So many of us, we go through the shelves, we see all the supplements that we're familiar with, but then we have this nice spread of lotions and oils mm -hmm. and then the salts, you know, and the yep. magnesium flakes. And big question, what is the difference between the magnesium flakes and Epsom salt? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's a yeah. great question. That's yeah. a huge question we get all the time mm -hmm. because we see Epsom salts on the shelf. We see them everywhere in a right. lot of different stores. Right. But then you see magnesium flakes and you're like, okay, are, are these the same form of magnesium? Right. How does this differ? Mm -hmm. So when you see Epsom salts, think, okay, that's magnesium sulfate. Okay. When you see magnesium flakes, that's magnesium chloride. So okay? two different forms. So it's two right. different forms. So they act similarly, but they are not identical. Kind of like when we were talking about supplements, we talked about magnesium glycinate or magnesium oxide. Yes, they're both magnesium, but they have different effects that they can give in the body. So all of the products in the LifeFlow collection, whether it's the oil, the lotion, or the flakes, mm -hmm. we use magnesium chloride, and that's actually sourced from the Zestian seabeds in Netherlands. So we would go down in the ocean where it's super concentrated, and that's where the magnesium products are actually sourced from. So just to give a little difference, but what's really nice about magnesium chloride, as opposed to, let's say, magnesium sulfate, is it's much more dermal absorbent. Right, meaning it's gonna get in, you're gonna get through the skin a little bit better. It's gonna get into the bloodstream better. So ultimately, you can consume more and hopefully feel more relaxed. You know, in turn with that as well. Got it. Got so, it. and so yeah. like many customers come in because believe me, I've used these. I love the vanilla. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes people say, you know, with the oil, I got this little tingling sensation. Yep. So I tell know. us about that. You know, yes. is it normal? It's okay. totally normal. Okay. It's okay. a great question because a lot of people will come back and be like, I don't know, is this supposed to give me this, this tingly feeling? Right. Yes, it's so normal. Let me give you an example. You know when you go to the ocean and you come out and you're like, oh, I kind of feel this little salty feeling on my skin, right? Mm -hmm. That little itchy feeling. Right, right. Well, that's like all the minerals on your body. So I'm literally giving you the ocean in a bottle, right? And it. so it's super concentrated. So when you spray that, a lot of times your body is absorbing, it's reacting with the magnesium. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean you're having an allergic reaction. Right. It just means, okay, the body's absorbing this magnesium. So what I always like to tell people is when you start by buying the oil, always try maybe spray it like on your wrist. A good reason for that is it's an easy area to wash off. Okay. So if you do find that it's a little too itchy or you find, I don't know, you're having some type of reaction, mm -hmm. at least on your wrist is a great place to start, okay? Mm -hmm. If not, and you feel like this is totally fine, then feel free to use it. It's very popular for things like leg cramps, very popular for like muscle tension, yes. right? Because remember, this is magnesium that you're putting topically on your body. So if you have, you know, your shoulders are so sore because you're working at the right. computer all day, or maybe you're an athlete and you're running and you do get leg cramps, especially like bodybuilders, runners, right. people like that, then you can actually target the area on your body that is feeling the tension, that's feeling the cramps. You can spray it, you can really absorb it, and it's going to be super useful for, you know, a topical application. Yes, and like I think, you know, you say leg cramps, like mm -hmm. the mom-to-bees, they get tons of leg cramps yep. and something easy. And maybe they're concerned with, should I be taking extra this? Should I be taking, but topically it can still be very beneficial. Absolutely. And you know, for me, when I, before you guys came out with the vanilla, cause mm -hmm. I love the vanilla, um, I would use the oil myself and maybe the first couple of times I used it, but then after that, it seemed to subside. I didn't notice that response anymore. Um, but plus for me, when I go get my lovely massages, I do have them concentrated in the areas that I have muscle knots, mm -hmm. really good for helping to loosen up muscles. So in yeah. fact, a lot of, um, on social media, we end up blowing up a lot on like TikTok and things like that. And yes. I think a lot of massage therapists are actually using mm -hmm. the magnesium lotion at their, at their practices as well. Mm -hmm. And so another thing I want to mention with the oil mm -hmm. is the only ingredient in the oil is magnesium chloride. Okay. okay. So it's just the pure magnesium oil where the lotion does have things like the shea butter and things like that, nice. which is still fantastic. But if you're like, I want the most concentrated form available, 
I'd go with the oil. Good okay. Right. I would spray that area. If you feel that itchiness, then that's okay. Just kind of like pat it dry. Mm -hmm. Maybe add a little coconut oil, add a little lotion to hydrate it. Oh, okay. If you're like, no, nope, it's just too itchy for me, or maybe I'm feeling tingly, then go with the lotion. You're still going to get a ton of benefit from it right. and you'll get the hydration from that as well. Um, and the other one that we have, that's actually not sitting with us right now, but it's the magnesium flakes. Okay, yes. and that's the big one. That's the one that we like to pour in the bathtub. So if you want to lay in the bathtub and you get that full effect, the magnesium flakes are perfect to kind of take a couple scoops, lay that out in the bathtub. We have so many different ways that you can get this magnesium, whether it's the lotion, the oil, we even have bar soaps and, right. and things like that. So it's a great way, again, to topically get that magnesium absorption through the body as and well. It's a great way to top off your day in a mm -hmm. nice bath. Like people underestimate how powerful the magnesium flakes are. And oh, boy, absolutely. do you come out feeling lovely, my friends. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, but uh, so when you're in the stores and you're looking for maybe your internal magnesium, you know, check out the lotions and the oils because they're a great complement to one absolutely. another. Right? Yeah. yeah. I often do that, actually. I'm like, if you know that you're prone to leg cramps or, or body stresses in general, then it's still good to take it internally. Right. Because then you can get all the benefits of magnesium, right. but then at least topically you can target those areas that are bothering you. Right. So it's a great pair two-in-one. Right. So whether it's magnesium, glycinate, or citrate, you could pair any of the Life Flow oils or lotions with those right. products as right. well. Great. So well, yeah. thank you for explaining Absolutely. and giving us the yes. one on a magnesium. And we hope you guys consider one of these lovely, fantastic products.